Sniper Elite 3, we're doing the collectibles. We're at the fort, double A Gamer for Life, Demented Priest. Okay, so this is the fourth level chapter, and we were on this level a few times. Uh, you get an achievement for uh, getting to the prisoner without uh, getting an alert, and then uh, there's also another one uh, for completing the whole level. Uh, without creating an alert or something like that. Uh, Hidden and Dangerous, I believe that uh, particular achievement was. But uh, in order to do those achievements, we just kind of did them. But uh, that doesn't really account for doing any of the side objectives or uh, the collectibles. Okay, so uh, in order to get your collectibles, you're going to have to go to the right side as soon as you collect, you know, come down here and then do what you got to do. Your weapon parts are down this way as well. And uh, so, therefore, if you're looking to get those achievements, uh, go through the map, you know, complete it, get your side objectives done, all that, and then replay the map and then uh, follow that. But I got separate videos on the uh, the achievement for getting up to the guy without being seen, and then yet another video for doing the harm and dangerous one. Okay, so you get your first sniper nest. It's uh, real close, and it's the home of the dude that has the the weapons part, and it's also the home of the long shot. This guy up here. Nice. All right, so you get your first sniper nest right here, and then uh, you get your long shot, and then this area is basically full up with dudes, and the guy that's on patrol that has our weapons part. Okay, so right there is the home of our first war diary. Okay, so the first objective was to take out the towers in the area that we're in. Uh, definitely nothing too hard. We're in this area, so you just snipe those towers, get those searchlights out, and you come down here, and that was our first war diary. You can see it's like right next to the... the radio tower. Carrying something useful. Okay, now this guy that's walking, I believe this gentleman right here is the guy that has our weapon part. Okay, I believe we restarted the area, that's why all the people are here. But once you've done something like the long shot and the sniper nest, it's done. As you can see, the, the radio or the light tower objectives are there. It's just uh, we killed that guy, and it's, it's kind of hard to point him out. So uh, this guy, he's uh, pretty much on patrol. He's walking around. He's got our first weapon part of this map. Okay, so these other two dudes uh, we're going to have to take out in order to get to this guy. going to be like a double pistol deal. All right, buddy got that guy, I got this guy, and we're going to make our way around to this guy to get him. Going to throw a stone to get him in a better position to get behind him.
Che diavolo! One in the back of the head. Okay, so there's our next weapons part. And it showed you where the first intel was, so go ahead and then take out your uh, objectives as far as uh, the searchlights and all that. There's one of our first collectible cards. Alright, so here's our next sniper nest. Okay, so as you work your way around, as you're doing this, uh, there's very possible that a couple of trucks or a truck or a couple of trucks may come along and you may have to deal with. Alright, that's our next war diary. Okay, so right up here is our next diary. As you can see, we're waking our way around to the next sniper nest. All right, so we got one card, three diaries. We already got the long shot in. We did the objective down here, shot the searchlights. Here's our next set of cards. Okay, we'll go ahead and work our way around to the next sniper nest. sure what that was all about but That's the last of the sniper nest, and here's our next intel. Looks like an Italian colonel will be passing through soon. I should hey, say that's hi. Uh...
the data. It's not part of the war diaries. Uh, it kind of opens up this thing to assassinate this person. Uh, if you can get out to the road and get a couple of landmines set down, that should uh, take care of that. Okay, I actually had some landmines further down the road that was planted earlier, and it was like, okay. Okay, so we get up into the castle, so to speak, and as soon as you get through there, the little cutscene will come in, and uh, once that happens, you are not able to get back out to the other area, so you want to make sure that Everything that could be collected is collected prior to getting up into this uh, part of the castle, fort. Anyway, there's our next war diary right by these two dudes. Okay, so we got everything we could out in the area prior to that, and this gentleman right here has got our next weapons part. Yeah, it takes care of that. Now we're going to work our way up to the prisoner. Okay, up here there'll be a dude kind of snoozing in the chair, and that's going to be his last nap. Okay, that takes care of him. Okay, that's our next collectible cards. Takes care of that. We work our way around with this dude and take him out. Keys. Nice. The <coughs> the intel you get off of him is also a war diary, so that takes care of the next one. Okay, and there's our last war diary right there. Okay, takes care of the radio dude. And our another war diary, I guess, uh... Uh, this is the last one and the end of the collectibles for the fort got the collectible cards the weapon parts everything 
there's our full list. Double A Gamer for Life, Demented Priest. If you like the videos, you can always support us by checking out the ads.